Hello, Graham Home here. This is a super quick video. I'm going to be comparing the Playdate and original Game Boy Pocket with the flash cart running the same homebrew game into the blue. This is a first release um, emulator, so it's probably not going to be. It's not going to probably be the. The. Um, it's not going to have the best performance, but that's okay for. Um, for a first alpha release. So let's just try out the Game Boy version first. You can tell our, right off the bat that the Playdate has a better reflective display. Even though it's not backlit, it's much easier to see compared to the original Game Boy. In this game you basically just try to slide blocks, tiles, whatever, to try to get three in a row. It's very unforgiving, especially when you get to the top. Oop. I'm really not doing good right now. Oh, you get the point, so there's that one. Now we're gonna do the same for this. Since Playdate's not like the Game Boy, it doesn't have a start and select, it has a crank instead. You have to crank to do start. This emulator does have um, sound, but you have to enable it before you start a game. And you got like a um, FPS counter right there. The play date, I think, can only reach a maximum of 50, 50 frames per second. That's because it's not using a, a traditional display. It's using a, um, a sharp memory display. So anyway, from here, you can tell that it seems to run pretty well, but let's try it with sound. So I'm gonna go back, and we're gonna try to see if um, if there's any frame loss if we use sound. Yeah, I can definitely hear the difference. I'm trying to do this with one hand. It's running much slower. Especially with audio enabled. With audio disabled, it ran at a playable frame rate. I'm gonna pause. Oh. Kinda. Now I'm just gonna get a game over. Actually, I can pause like that. Press here. Alright, that's pretty much it. I don't really have anything else to show. Um, I hope you have a good evening.